the last stream. On the left. <laughs> That's when the cannibalism started. Welcome to the last stream on the left. Uh, Hellish rebuke, Henry. Hellish rebuke. Not today. <laughs> today I'm so hungover. You're hungover? It's, only, it's 5 p.m. where you are. How are you still hungover? Man, you know what happens is that I hadn't really been drinking, and I got I did one of those where I was just like, man, I'm getting drunk all sure. weekend long. Yeah. Oh, and I'm I did a phone call from one of my friends. Drink me to feel better, Henry. Yeah, it's right. I want you have to. That's I the only way, Marcus. That's the truth on that. That's I don't do it myself. It. Well, <laughs> honestly, I might do it. I have a beer in here, but I can't drink today. I'm trying to not drink today. I'm trying to do the opposite. I'm trying to Hard chill stop. out. I'm trying to chill you. out for one day, but I don't know. I did some quarantine fucking drinking. Were you alone? Some of it. Well, but but was it sad? No, laughing. <laughs> so you were <laughs> just laughing all the time. Alone. What were you drinking? Beers, and wine, and tequila. <laughs> oh, you did get hammered. That's when you're like, "What do we got in here?" Well, just I did that, and then I made a bunch anything. of I made a bunch of dark and stormies, and then I went and I had a bunch of ginger beers, which oh, has just God. been like. You, then I I got into that yesterday, it's where I would pour it over. You you ever do this? God, it's so good. No, it sounds like the Russian it's sleep fucking, experiment. That's like not, ginger that's, beer. A uh-huh. pint glass filled with ice, two to three shots of bourbon on the top of it, and you fucking mix it up. And it's an incredible, incredibly refreshing summer drink. Yeah, you're like it's- the barefoot Contessa, but like not because she came home and kicked off her sandals. She can't find them. They're can't on the find my somewhere. shoes. I'm the, yeah, you're about I'm to the get bare- arrested. Barefoot, no home Contessa. <laughs> That's what I was shooting for. <laughs> Well, I'm excited for this week's stream. I actually watched both of last week's stream, and dare I say, good job, guys. Very funny. Very funny. Thank you. Um, very fun stuff. <laughs> but this is... This, Appreciate it. Thank you very it's much really for your good. honest assessment of our it performance. It was funny! <laughs> and I was, it was funny. Um, but this week is even going to be better because we don't have to do anything, which is nice for no us. No work. No work for us, classic. Um, no Travis Morningstar got to choose all the videos. It's on me. It's on Trav. And uh, I was just thinking, what I what did I do for what did I do for Memorial Day? And uh, what I did was I got into a white van with an old Egyptian man because I needed someone to carry film equipment to our studio. And that the guy that brought me the film equipment, I asked him, hey, if you if I give you fifty bucks, will you just take me to Greenpoint and go to our studio? Uh huh. And uh, yeah, he did, and he he filled me in on how oh my Egypt, he filled you in, huh? Egypt is doing their coronavirus thing. Apparently, this is from the Egyptian man himself. Apparently, they have a curfew, so after before seven p.m., it's uh, basically no holds barred. Do whatever you want, right? And then after seven p.m., social distancing, businesses close. Um, fascinating stuff. But uh, it's that, an idea. But that's an idea. Yeah, yes, you can <laughs> that's do it. But, but you know getting what I want to say, Travis? Van, getting into a white van with a strange Egyptian man is a new rush. Since I don't, I can't drink, so oh, I have it. to yeah. do the. I have you to. You got to fucking turn up the volume some way. And then I want to say, as an emergency responder for Last Podcast Network, I want to give you what every emergency responder is so thirsty for and requires during this time period. <laughs> no, sorry. Can you I imagine that? I don't hear honestly. That. It's seven, so they do that at 7 p.m. every day here in New York. They are, they're banging pots and pans. You're just out of work. The last thing you want to hear is a bunch of people who sound like they're in a psychiatric ward off their meds, banging their kitchen pots and pans together, and this is a thank you? Give me money. Throw tens of dollars <laughs> out the money. window. That's what Travis that's is thing. slowly asking for, and we'll find out because in the end, I think Travis knows, experience is so much more important than money. No, that's right. That's that is. And what as I've a matter heard. of fact, Henry and Marcus and I, we're going to start an improv theater called the Downright Citizens Brigade, <laughs> <laughs> and we're going to make all of the money. Where we make all the money, artists. and yeah. no one makes any of the rest of the money, and then Whoa. we lie to them about their chances in show business, and we just yes. give it to the most good-looking people that already had connections to begin with. It's and if great. you're very lucky, you too can do a sketch in blackface. And yes, that sketch will come back to haunt you 20 years from now. But you know what? We'll have a show. So who cares? 
Real quick, real quick, I did take a UCB class, and I almost cried in that class because the teacher was so bitter about his lot in life. I'm I, actually, okay. And he, like, nothing I did was funny, which, I, you know what, fair enough. But uh, I, I made him laugh once, and it almost made me cry because he hated me so much and would cut my scenes off every every single Honestly, time. Honestly, Travis, I would love to know the Donnie Darko-like road you took this class down. <laughs> <laughs> what were some of your like? Okay, let's just like just channel it. What's a, a suggestion? No, I was so so. The scene that I did was uh, somebody was like it, somebody was playing my brother, and they were like, "Man, you got to get up. You, you, you why are you why are you like I don't I forget what the scene was, but it was like I was uh, using fire hoses on people, and that's the wacky part, right? Right? That's the wacky yeah, part. Sure, and sure then not. and then and then my partner was like, "Hey, what's what's going on with you?" And I and I got real for a second. I said, "I'm just having a really hard time right now." And that was what made my improv teacher laugh. Was <laughs> <laughs> you did not. Uh, no, actually, just before the stream, Travis was telling me his older brother showed him dog porn. So should have just gone with that. Should have just gone with that, Travis. Wow, and that, then, that was in confidence. Well, and I, I didn't take it in confidence. That was but in anyway, no, that was a lull. That was a raffle. That's a rip. That's a, but uh, yeah, that's the thing. It's, that's, how you, that's the only thing that they found enjoyable was your personal suffering. They yeah, like yes. your money. And they want your choices to match whatever choices they have. Any yep. improv teachers are little fucking dictators. Oh, they they're yeah, horrible. and I think, and I, they're all trying to bang the students. And I do. I'm not going to say that I didn't lose a girl to an improv teacher, but definitely after we dated, she had sex with him multiple times. Bald man, uh, he went up inside there. I mean, it was ridiculous what he was trying to do. What a scene that must have been. And they hold all these improv classes in buildings that are, they're on like the fifth floor of the building, and then there's a bar waiting for you at the very bottom, which is just like a honey trap for me, an alcoholic at the time. So yeah. I would just leave the class completely uh, humiliated Shattered. and get drunk at the bar and then just not show up to the next class I it's a perfect system it's I, a perfect <laughs> rifty funny system i cannot tell you how many times i had to play a trade so many people just climbed on me it was i'm with you trav i completely agree it was demoralizing traumatizing in every sense of the word i learned nothing i think my comedy got worse That's but you know I what took... i I've, I've been trying to embolden myself recently by watching the show Billions. It really gets my zads up. You know, Dan really Soder, does. buddy. Dan Soder's Dan Soder. Dan Soder. Yeah. Soder's on the LPN show this week. But honestly, guys, he's been talking about billions for three fucking weeks. I swear to I God, love, I love, I love, I love billions now, <laughs> and it's like it's it, it's giving me back sort of a macho ness that I never had in the first place. <laughs> like I'm, you know, I'm I'm listening to Metallica now. I'm shop. I'm looking at Harley's realistically online to buy, uh, and you know, like. Travis, I hate to break this. Like, I hate to tell you, tell you this, but you know Harley's are for lesbians. <laughs> hey, have you changed? Have you seen me recently? Wait, no. what? When they did changed. Harley come for lesbians? Also, I mean, that's great. I understand the, the joy of riding on a bike, having a murmur be between the thighs, but I didn't hear this rumor um, at all, Henry. Yeah, uh, uh, what's her name? Who, the kids? Her kid just died. Melissa Etheridge. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> she flipped it. Really? Yeah, mm. I don't know how, I know but that. she did it. Yeah. But I, 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 like, I like how Billions, Billions has kind of like, it's sort of tamped down my more esoteric interests. Like now I'm, I'm appreciating certain things. And at this first video that I brought to you is something that I, I would never, I would never solely my own YouTube account by, by bringing us, bringing this up and watching it. But I thought it was fucking cool. It's like neon lights underneath your car, like and listening to new metal. It's just, it's just cool. No, no matter which way you spin it. So let's play oh, this yeah, first also, video and let's get, let's get fucking pumped. I am realizing these are all the waters that I drink throughout the week. Probably should have removed those from the background, but uh, yeah, it looks like you're keeping jugs your piss inside <laughs> <laughs> okay cool feeling it All love right. it feeling it oh this is on their way to bonnaroo i i guess so but it must be very hot move leto agram I would love to shoot a gun out of a car. Out of a car. You can do it, man. Just fucking get one, dude. And just start fucking. Fuck up, fuck up, fuck up. You, a lot of Ubers will let you just shoot out of their car if you don't give a fuck. <laughs> if there was a shooting Uber, a Schuber, I would do it every single day. Man, y'all are fucking. Y'all are fucking digging on this and fucking scrapping on this shit. And I think that this is fucking. Duplato! Look at this. I think that this Got slaps. Sick. I, it's sick. This is fucking kill as hell, dude. Woo! Get that band up on the wheel, dude. You know these guys are getting a lot of women. Oh, 
Oh, dear. And, and, and the a- women let them touch their boobs because they can drive their car so good. Coolest guys in the world, I'm telling you. Wow. Every time a guy drives through my neighborhood, you know, playing really loud music with, like, really loud fucking mufflers, like, I always say, like, that is right now the coolest guy on this block. I was the coolest guy on this block before that guy drove here, but until he leaves. But do you thank him? Do you, like, say a thank you to his mind for just, like, how fucking crazy wet he makes Carolina? (laughs) And how ready for her to go? Like I get get to take advantage of that. Fucking dope. Dude, I got to say, dope, dude. (laughs) Hell yeah, man. man. But some songs are great life. Two Chains, All I Want for My Birthday, that's a great life. But you know who, or I would say, you can even blast a little Metallica. The only artist you should never blast is Eminem because it just sounds like you got a kid in the backseat who hates his mom. And it's it's like, it's just a lot. Like, just the drive by lyrics are like, I'm going to kill you, bitch. And you're like, what the? And then then they're just gone. I'm hitting it with a lot, man. You know what you got? Fucking. That's why I try to. When I blast it, I pop the fucking top of the fucking bird down, man. Fucking Don Henley, man, makes everybody fucking go lockstep groove. Fucking dirty laundry, man. The last time you played that fucking fresh ass track. Hell yeah. There's a guy in my neighborhood that just constantly plays Phil Collins, driving through the neighborhood, playing, blasting Phil Collins as loud as he possibly can. I can feel it. That's, the one. Man, man, man. That's all fucking. <laughs> and and Phil drive. Collins, Phil Collins was mentioned in the Eminem song "Stan." Ah, huh. I didn't know you were such a scholar of Eminem lyrics. I love candy absolutely... and I love Eminem. <laughs> fucking fascinating. I love him. I've well, always been a fan. Speaking of Eminem, I think this next video. This is sort of how you make an Eminem. How you how you put a child through uh, such trauma that they uh, that they become the rap god themselves. Also, you can get this shirt on lastpodcastmerch.com. Good plug. <laughs> Let's watch, this. Let's watch this news clip. Duct tape around her foster children has been found not guilty of criminal charges. What? Colleen Christ. Bro wept as she left a courthouse in Doylestown, Pennsylvania. Oh, Bro and her estranged God. husband Neil were arrested in April and charged with child endangerment. Authorities oh obtained God. several pictures. One showed a child. What are they doing? To neck in duct Christ, tape. Travis. The defense successfully argued that the husband oh staged God. the photos to hurt his <laughs> wife during a bitter divorce. Oh, Neil Bro has already pleaded guilty and he is awaiting sentencing. Hold on a second. So this <laughs> oh dude went so next level. God, dude. He duct taped the kids to make it seem like she was a bad mom. Dude, yeah. I don't wow. even understand why they're getting a divorce. He's dedicated. He's motivated. He's got his head on his shoulders. What's love got to do with it? That's a real last time out. Oh, wait. So this is my question. Okay. Who was taping the kids? She was taping the kids. Neil Bro was. The dad. Neil <laughs> fucking the, the, the bro? bro? Okay, yeah. So Neil Bro said so that was short. He changed it at Ellis Island when his family came. <laughs> yeah, when he had frosted bro tips. Said, he was the yeah. first one in America with frosted tips. <laughs> so they went. So he decided to stage this thing, which he could have done with fake duct tape. Like he could have done with more, but he just straight up just taped these kids. Yep. I think you could have used saran wrap, too. You could do anything that makes the children look as if they're being held captive against their will. Yeah, but saran wrap is going to be pretty much, well, I guess saran wrap doesn't have the stickiness, but it's got a Dude. bad, it's got a, sa- a sound to it. You Dude, could kill I a toddler. Myself... You could kill a toddler with fucking saran wrap, fucking you no could, problem. Yeah. You could yeah, kill a absolutely. toddler with a paper bag, yeah. They're not hardy creatures. No, not with a paper bag, maybe a plastic bag. I don't know. Um, <laughs> oh, yeah, don't, don't, California don't, liberal you've become. I'll tell you what, man. Don't, don't put any plastic bags. Don't put any red man in one of those bags. He's fucking choking it because he can't fucking act his way outside of it. <laughs> oh. to let go of the hatred for red, any oh, red man. He's never done anything God. to you. You've never met him. He's actually, I've heard he's a very nice guy. The only good thing that he's done is that he has not done uh, everyone congratulate for me existing during the quarantine video. Yet. Like he has at <laughs> least a stayed. Hero. He has stayed home, and I'm, I'm, up, and he stayed quiet, and I really enjoy that. But when it comes down to just taping up the kids, I mean, there's so many ways you can keep a kid inside of a crib. You can even just put kind of a net over the top without directly tying them into a bundle. I feel like there's so yeah. many other ways you could have done it. You could have made the kid like, yeah, but that's not, seat, but and that's put sunglasses illegal. on it and put like an empty fucking BL in its hands. Like that could have been fucking sweet. That's just the next guy, Fietti. No, you have to do something that makes her look like she's a monster. If you like, all of those are just like, 
cute. Like he's, he's one today, 20 years away from having an alcohol problem. I, you have to make it look like she's a real tyrant. Yeah, because you don't want to. You don't hate the kids enough to kill them. You just you dislike. Kill them. You just dislike them enough to duct tape them. For well, hours you guys time. are married. What's your plan? I don't want to. Henry, I'm done with you. My name is Natalie. I'm done with you. You're, You're talking about when I get divorced. <laughs> no, I'm divorcing, I'm divorcing you. I'm divorcing you. My name is Natalie. I mean, I already got a plan, man. I go fucking I sell, I, you know, I fucking sell whatever I got. I go to fucking either Reno or like Biloxi. I go to a place where you can live in a place where you can get a $175 like a month apartment still. Like you find one of those spots, um, like some kind of halfway house and I fucking drink myself to death. Man. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you were always a loser. That's a plan. I got a plan at least. <laughs> Rio well, Dosa, New Mexico, my friend. I'm going to go get real damn good at horse racing. But Not Carolina's racing, but betting on horse racing. Betting on a man. Oh. OTB. I'm going to be an OTB guy. I'm going to spend all my time at Rio Dosa Downs, uh, spend the other half of my time up on the mountain, go over to Cloudcroft every once in a while, Maybe no. take up golf. Probably not because I hate golf and I find it to be a useless sporting sport. We'll never like it's golf. No. I try to do because you know what? With golf, it's in the hips. Which is <laughs> but I got good sense. hips. I can swing the hips very nicely, but I yeah, just this I don't way, care. this way, side yeah. to side. I can. Yeah, I totally can. I'm I have got to see you do it. Usely, it is what, like, like seventy degrees. Well, you yeah, mean man, like this? I'm sick. The, the hips? Try to do it. Yeah, try to do it. Right? No, okay. Yeah, he could do it. That's sexual. That's when you're dancing for your fucking wife. No, you have to put it. Yeah. You have to twist you're it. Driving, you're, you're driving it from this. See, now you're getting there. <laughs> you're supposed to drive. I don't know. understand. The only time I did it, I embarrassed myself from my high school girlfriend's all fucking super sporty family. I was 280 pounds. Well, but like, you went from, it's like this. That's and baseball. And you're supposed like to this, go like. Like this. And then like that. <gasps> You're supposed Actually, to be Henry, I think you got it. Henry, you are you are secretly very athletic. I think that Henry and also lower to the ground. My understanding is mm, no, never mind, Marcus. You're probably you're probably no, the right. But golf dude. is for pedophiles. We know that already. That's the only <laughs> major thing about golf is mm -hmm. that it's a really good place for fucking pedophiles. Oh, golf is for making deals. That's what you do on the golf course, and you avoid your family and you avoid your wife. But I was thinking about if I'm instead of making deals and doing the kind of stuff, I'd I'd rather have fucking air hockey. Oh, <laughs> that shit. That'd be real fun. I'd go yeah. for a foosball table, jukebox down in the basement. I don't oh, like yeah. foosball. I think it's fucking Moment stupid. Foosball. Yeah, I, fucking think, I think it's fucking stupid. Yeah, you, I hate it when you, they put, can you move your guys so well because you jerk off all the time. Yeah. You know what it was about fucking foosball is that you know why I think I don't like it is that it's in every fucking one of those office spaces where they're like. We like to have fun around here. <laughs> and when you go and you can get all the sodas that you want, but you are like, you are developing facial recognition technology for right. Google. Like that's what you're doing all day. You'll notice this office is empty. This is our former CEO who molested his secretary. She's also been fired. She got fired. <laughs> <laughs> There's the foosball. Yeah, foosball. I still foosball. like foosball. All right, well, let's, let's move on to this next video. Uh, ben, you are moving soon to another location yes and uh i would like to I, give you you better you, I, I, i've been trying to push you to maybe like speak to a broker or a realtor or something you haven't been doing anything. i have been doing that <laughs> the total lie you've been and, pushing real hard he hasn't and, been doing jack oh, that is, oh i wish we had a i wish there was a fly yeah i would you know what could, you need to do if you, you wish there was a fly in this wall we're surrounded by microphones I wish. But, I will, <laughs> <laughs> but i will say travis you better all of his secret records of, um, of oh yeah, I just, have to, I just have to press one button on this uh, on this Google Drive account, and then uh, it all it all ends for Ben Kissel. For Great. Sure. I also just got a text message from Michael Fox, an amazing comedian. She says we were trying to watch Rick and Morty, and then your dumb face showed up. So there you go, Micah. <laughs> yeah. Guess what, Micah? Get cable, Micah. If you want that Rick and Morty, you better get that fucking cable. Get the I'm cable. Micah. Love you. Okay, okay so I'm Micah. This this is a. Uh, this is a place that you might be interested in. Ben. Okay. I think you would. I think you would honestly fit in here. Was that a pun? Was that a joke of my, my size? House. Oh my God, it's Marcus. <laughs> Check out the master bedroom. Honestly, if there's a pool in here, I will buy it. Secret bookcase door. I like the secret bookcase door. Burst the dungeon. Oh. 
Okay. And then proceeding okay. down into the... I like the shoe rack. Let's get a little scary. Okay. How are you supposed to drag a body down this? And yes, you I don't. You just let it go, man. I built you just all the push furniture. it down. I even built the room. Oh well, and cool. The like the bar, case. got the got fucking cool stripper pole, like he's Nicky's neck. Sure. Yeah. Spanking bench. Spanking oh, that's bench. what you do. Got it. You can also just sit on it. Bar. Somebody sure. come by my house, please. <laughs> Honestly, this is pretty cool. Oh, ooh, oh my she goodness. come with Hello. it? Uh, oh, because wow. I need to actually yeah, upload right her. Now. I need to get rid of her. Wow, is, is she a sofa? Because I'd love it. to sit on that. Uh, mirror, mirror oh. on the wall. Who's got the sexiest house on the internet for sale of them all? Doesn't rhyme. That's right. Well, you this got house there. and dungeon can be yours. This is fucking dope Honestly, as hell. Honestly, I would buy this in a heartbeat. She's mine. Welcome okay, you house. can have her. I don't even <laughs> joke it. Come buy it. Oh, honestly, yeah. How much is it? How much is this guy selling this for? Marcus, I want you to dress this is three grand. Like this is three thousand dollars. That's it. That's it. Where is that? This is in L.A. Dude, yeah. Let's get on. We're in L.A. for three thousand. It's right next to the uh, Magic Castle. What? Wait a sec. No. So wait, are you just renting his dungeon? No, no, he, he, just... wants, he wants you to buy his house. He keeps saying it in the video, buy Wait, my house. how much is it cost? Like, seriously, it's $3,000? I don't off? know. I actually don't know how much it costs, okay? Well, then he just <laughs> I didn't was, lie. That was, that was a straight I up lie. I, really I want to know, know how much this is. I, wasn't, I didn't bring, like, the dossier of his his rental information. Is but... there, like, a pedophile Zillow that we can go find the price uh, of that dungeon out? Yeah. Yeah, 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 I'm pretty certain. Well, I think first they have, have to. I think they have to consult pedophile Zillow before they can move anywhere, right? You find <laughs> it through Raya, because Raya has its has a whole pedophile corner. Um, hi Nadia, I see Nadia is on the on the chat. Hi, hello, and Bone saw. Yes, I think that honestly, Marcus would actually do very good. Yes, Marcus would be great looking like that. With but the, yes, I I would the, lame, the the gold lame and the black oh, yeah. leather pants. You knew what it was called. I had no idea it was called a lame. I've done a lot of studying on glam rock bands. I know exactly what all their clothing is called. Yeah, so is that guy. Also, yeah. I want to thank Nadia. She did flash me earlier today. Just not, not warranted. This is the uh, real this is exactly, <laughs> thank you. emergency responders. I felt exactly like if you've ever seen the film Summer Rental starring the one and only John Candy when the woman takes him into her house and she's like, just take a look. And then she flashes him and then John's like, yeah, those are, wow, look at that. And then she's like, are they natural? Anyway, that was fun. Thank you for that. Very good. Good. I'm glad. I'm really glad for you. Happy for you. I, I um I just read the fucking many emails about the black hat man today. I saw boobs. <laughs> I can see boobs on the internet. Yeah. I'm going to my the bathroom where my wife is. <laughs> still, still something you want to ask permission to do. I you do. You can't just barge in there. You can't. No, 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 no. I, I, no matter how I married you are. I don't. I don't like. We separate. We're also the type of people. We keep the bathroom doors closed. We're not a a pooping and pissing in front no. of each other couple. No, mm. not, not unless you're really getting into that Hitler foreplay. I, I just, pee with the door open, but that's it. That's the only thing we have. I don't. But does I don't, Carolina watch and go like? He, I love the stream. <laughs> he only dumps once a week. He's got a once a week dump. You can imagine the the horse oh, shit. that that creates. Whoa, two hundred and according to Lube Pizza on the chat, it's only two hundred and twenty five G's for that fucking house. Honestly, let's buy it. Let's go buy it well, right now. We'll make, that'll be our new studio. Well, someone put up the Zillow account for it. Okay, he's got. It shows that he's a. He improved the place. He bought. He built the stairwell. You need he, to buy this house, Kissel. Sure, I'll buy it. I would like, absolutely literally... love if he actually buys the. Yeah, everyone. It would be like it's four beds, go three baths. It's not. If I have a dungeon, it's not. That guy has a dungeon. The hey, only person email that to me. Dungeon, I can't be like, come over and hang out in my dungeon with me. Like, he has like, that. that is, yes, he has a dungeon. You will be. I, the only person who's going to be on the polls, me. But you're all gonna you're gonna like it. I'm gonna have we're all have fun back there. We can all get real drunk in this fucking look at that. I'm gonna send it to both of you. Yeah. All right. Yeah, really? I wanna check this place out. It doesn't seem like it hasn't Everyone's been covered in blood at one point, but that's okay. They'll get somebody somebody in there at some point, honestly. I'll do a I'll I'll go to a haunted sort of a, a former brothel. I mean, was there any was that a, a I mean there must be some sort of orgies and, and things like that if there's a there's a, uh... That's just a guy with a fet life account. He's not like dangerous. Yeah, 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 yeah. I don't no, think no, he's no, nothing bowling. wrong. Like, with it. he's not no. bowling, bowling because it's a, it's in. Oh no, this is in Van Buren. This is in fucking California. 
Oh, where is it? That fucking California is it Van Buren? This is Arkansas? Arkansas. house. Where is this? Van Buren. That's, that's AR, that's, right? That's Arkansas, right? Or am I crazy? That AK. Oh my gosh, where the Clintons that's, killed no, uh, It's Alaska. That's Alaska. Yeah, it's, it's in fucking Van Buren, Arkansas. Holy fucking shit. I don't want to move there. Yeah, oh, that, I mean, that's that's Arkansas, my friend. But guess what, man? You can your orgy just became that much more achievable. It yeah, it's definitely got a lot bigger. That's for sure. Which because I'm fine with. L.A. They are not very like they're like L.A. It's more of a work generally place. Yes, there are sex workers, people, the porn industry, but that's their work. So in their life, they're not a sexual. Where the people are sucking and fucking and licking and doing drugs, Van Buren, Arkansas. Oh, because I agree there's with actually. That. There is a secret passage from the master bedroom to the secret playroom. So that whole thing that, like, if you buy that house, you can keep that entire room a full secret from your friends and family. And that's very dangerous. That's exactly what John Wayne Gacy did. I don't he think says, you ever need a secret room. He Look says huge shit. master bath, hot tub, an entertainment pole, full bar, hidden TVs. This is a step through the looking glass. What's this the point of a dope hidden TV? As what would hell. be the point of a hidden television? Can you tell no, me? This. I can't see it. <laughs> you got this nice little bumpy spank couch that, that, you know, like whoever, you know, like anybody who like lays front forward on this spank couch actually like kind of gains a butt. So either way, Kessel, right. you can transform somebody into somebody you want to look at and you can look at their butt and they got all of this nice. Oh, he's got a grill. I think this I'm guy greatly underestimated the requirements that it takes to have a comfortable home. This no, look at the rest of it. Are Dude, you looking at it? Where's the yard? Where's he's the got... yard? It's all the cum that killed the grass. No, he's got a little lake. Oh, oh my gosh. Oh, oh honestly, the outside of this, ha this is straight up the house that the FBI broke into when they thought it was Buffalo Bill's house, but it wasn't Buffalo Bill's house. It was just a dude like this house. This oh, house and he's is... got kids, too. He has children. Yeah, yeah they've, they've got yeah, an Angry Birds could... themed bedroom. Oh, I mean, oh he could also. <laughs> that yes, could be does the he fucking... have children? Now he needs to have children. <laughs> that could be like you, the Epstein honestly, fucking audition room. What is the creepiest room you could ever imagine? Not a one with a bunch of skulls and like Hellraiser like claws and chains and everything. A room that is just de decorated with a bunch of Angry Birds. And then be like, oh, how old's your child? We lost him when he was one. And then it's just like, what are you using this room for? I love forever memory homes like that. Yeah, <laughs> yeah look at these. <laughs> There's a I lot of know. houses on here. Man, 200, that's all it takes, man. Uh, I actually think it's a little expensive for Arkansas. Isn't that a little yeah. pricey? I think so. I mean, I, I don't know. I just took one look at that guy and assumed California. So, sorry. That's that, that's my idea of an uh, of no, Angelino. Honestly, if he was in California, I would think he was kind of a D-bag. But I think he's brave for living like that in Arkansas. For Arkansas, See, in California, cool. that's, that's a dime a dozen. But in Arkansas, that dude's actually freaking out the squares. This dude's sexy as still yeah. do that there. For Arkansas, he is sexy as fuck. <laughs> mm -hmm. I, I think anywhere in the uh, in the lower 48. I don't right. know. Well, speaking of uh, sexy shit, let's take a look at this guy's um, sexy body. Let's do. Let's look at this guy's body. What, what are men doing that they <laughs> look at his body looking like this? What was that? The new Twitter form. What you are seeing is food passing directly from Jonas's mouth toward his bowels. Oh. Because he has no Whoa. stomach, the food passes through so quickly that his body has difficulty absorbing nutrients. Oh. I eat six times a day. Every yep. two and a half to three hours I eat. And I start eating about 12 o'clock. Oh, so uh, I don't, don't want to watch this. To I seriously don't want to watch this. 10.30 at night is my last meal. Ugh. And then I'll go to bed about... 1.30 and I'm good till the next morning. Because he's also missing his colon and large intestine, there is nothing to slow down the process. If I'm eating light food, I would have to use the restroom, mm -hmm. oh, in about three to four minutes. <laughs> but if I'm I'm gonna, I'm a little why aren't you just eating on a toilet? <laughs> That's what you gotta minutes. do. The thing is, you're on a date with this guy. He's a nice looking dude. But then you find out, I don't got a stomach, I got a... I don't know what does that do to you. Where I, think I don't you understand. talk about that before you go on the first date. Well, I think first I guess, right. like, if they if they don't love you at your at with if they think that you have a stomach and then they fall in love with you and then they don't love you because you don't have a stomach then then it's on them. Okay, first date thing that I would say right, you got herpes, HIV, one of those. Always say it right. Food tube in the outside of your body, 
You keep secret. <laughs> you got to make sure they love you. you. Do, you don't talk about it. You wear a button up shirt to dinner. And then what you do, it's like maybe for the first, maybe first cup, cup of gold, cup of coffee. You get a cup of coffee because maybe the coffee, you don't need a massage. Doesn't that burn down. the inside of your asshole? I don't know. I don't know. That's why you probably have to have cold brew. Yeah. And then you go and you have at the very top, you know, the, the, she doesn't fully see. But then you go out in a really nice restaurant, right? It's the big date that you're really going to th- And then, excuse me, if you're having burrata, <laughs> that's a difficult food when your food tube's on the outside. Like a nice, like, not a burrata, but like. It's not the food. It's his it's intestine. Shit. It's not even the food. He doesn't have a food tube. But then you go, you eat it, and you say nothing and go, excuse me? And then you <laughs> run to the bathroom like you're supposed to do it, and she has to, she has to ask. Okay. I don't want to be insensitive to anyone who has their who has their shit bag attached directly to their mouth. But doesn't that make your breath horrible? Like I'm not even like wouldn't that make everything it's attached? not a shit. I don't know if it's, it's a his shit intestine. Bag. Yes, they said it's his intestine because he doesn't have a stomach. But it's I don't so when, but he doesn't right? have a colon either. And I, I think I think that all the nasty smells are created in your stomach and your colon. He's got a direct through line. He's yeah, got no. just straight up with the other difference is all of that, all of the shit tubes, right, we have are kind of buried underneath. Like, we have this acid tube, and but then all the shit tubes are all up in here, right? And sure. so they got plenty of feet and blockage for the, the stitch to come out through the top. It's got to get through the stomach and all the little fucking the sphincters up through the thing. If you just have an open tube from the top of your mouth right. to your fucking asshole. What you have is an active, because what he's saying is he has to eat six or seven times a day because the food that gets caught in that tube is what he digests. So exactly. what you have is- But it's going it is, too fast to digest. Yes, it, but then, so whatever has to get caught and held in the tube, that's smearing the right. sides of it, right? So that is this? rotting food. You're, as, he, as he speaks, those, everything that's slipped by the food begins to rot. What about this? Rubber bands. You rub a, you tie a rubber band around your waist, then you got the food, and it bubbles, starts bubbling up here. But you get the nutrients, and then when you want to do it, you cut the band. Boom. Who's this I mean, guy? Bill Nye. A toilet. Is this Mr. Wizard? I'm fucking talking I mean, to. Here? You are like the water slide of shitters. It is just like a luge all the way down. But yeah, how would you get the nutrients? How do you get the nutrients? It's 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 whatever gets into gunky holes in the to the front tube. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, this is so fucking, great. My, I know my medical, wild. I love wild. this. My health care plan. You are really a great doctor. I'm so happy that my health care plan covers you. And uh, this is great. Thank hey, you, you know, what? this is my big thing is uh, Kissel. What I've been meaning to tell you the last couple of visits, I actually think you should start taking them up smoking because it lets your lungs exercise. <laughs> uh, have you thought about just taking up smoking? And apparently that nicotine is building, is beating that coronavirus. Woo! Yep. Nicotine. But you do know. Igor and Olga, two scientists in Canada, they say that weed, 70% of the receptors get turned off with all the CBD. Weed can save your life. That's according to Igor and Olga. Ooh, it's not the it. it's not the theory you review. fucking bitches. Fucking smoking weed. <laughs> all I do is fucking get, get healthier, dude. That's all you do. Yeah. I mean, I think it's the nights of mixing every single amount of alcohol in a matter of three hours. That's why you're hungover. You got to stick with one, Henry. I just got into it was all the different types of alcohol, and then I just because uh, I was grilling, but I wasn't eating. <laughs> what? I built it, it all up. We you had a quarantine grilling. party where everyone was separated around an area, so I went to one spot and I deliver food with a mask on, and then deliver food, and then deliver food. Everybody partied in their party zones. Wow. Wow. That's what we're doing. That's what it would be nice if Freddy Krueger was real and he could hop out from the water and just slash everybody's throats. You know what I like about Freddy Krueger is because he only fucking did whatever he did to kids. I think we'd be actually like I am ex- friends. You know, I am extremely conflicted because when we when we spoke to Elijah Wood on uh, – that was for Side Stories Proper. Um, he oh, said yeah, that apparently Freddy also- was- the, just so you know, the, according to the chat, that guy attempted suicide by drinking. Dr- at some yeah, point. that's what YouTube said. It's it, uh, I didn't know that. <laughs> the guy from Van Buren, Arkansas. You know what? Everyone, yeah, yeah. In, no, everyone... no, the guy with the outside food tube. The guy oh. from fucking Van Buren, Arkansas, is crushing it right now. <laughs> I'm pretty sure the I'm pretty sure the subject of every one of my videos has tried to attempt suicide at least well, once. Well, why would he? Bite, I mean, what's what's going on here? How did he do it? He drank, he drank bleach. Yeah. 
Hell, he's just going to clean out the tube. But he didn't die. No, that's very painful, though. I was actually reading about suicide by bleach. It takes about 20 to 30 minutes, and it's very painful. So, uh, yeah. You know, don't even if you live, it, it burns you so much you can't really talk, and then you got. That's why out. you got to go by fucking cop. Get those fucking revenge points, dude. You get to there go to revenge is. heaven, dude. Perfect you, storm. You you dress up like Jimmy Kimmel. No, you dress up like or, or Jimmy Kimmel as Carl Malone, and then you can get shot by the cops. It's perfect. You'd be calling out racism on every level. You could die by cop, or you could die by ex-wife. So let's watch this. Let's watch this uh, next video. <laughs> Uh, an, a horror story unto itself. I think it should be legal to be able to kill your spouse. Thinking of getting Jesus divorced Christ. and remarried? Well, this is what an ex-wife can look like. Yep. She will not they often do. Away. Oh they my keep God. coming. Oh <laughs> my. A little mellower for Lori Easystone, wife number two. But we're on our way to the airport. Wake mother. After dropping off her mom. Lori decides to swing by her stepson's <laughs> school. Dap -a -dap -a -dap. <laughs> cool. And waiting there, parked in this blue van, is wife number one. She um chased me. Yeah, she's chasing Whoa, dip, dude! Oh fucking she loose. I tried to pull away when wife number one, Anita Teresa, cut her off. Man, you just people forget women are dangerous, man. I don't know if they forget. I mean, she's like fucking the T-1000. Lori's trying to use her cell phone to call 911. Oh, you gotta get that window up. Things on her mind. Hit her with the door, dude. Go! Hit her with the door, dude. It looks like wife number one's trying to smack Lori with her keys, doesn't it? No, hell yeah, she's coming in. That's love, honestly. You should go back there. No, look, look, look at this. Now the talk. Whoa. Use both hands. In a Max X spur, uh -huh. white number Whoa. one, white number two, a bra wedgie, while white number <laughs> two tries to desperately call 911. Oh, she got her by the boss <laughs> trap. What? <laughs> Fucking yeah, dude. Bystander jumps in to help and gets in between the two women. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Oh, okay. oh, I know a crazy woman when, when I see a crazy woman. Like this guy is in way over his head. He that guy was let it be. He was driving along his BMW and he's like, wait a second, I think that's an ex wife. <laughs> I hate the way this guy talks. <laughs> Lori finally gets away, but it's a dangerous ride home in the pouring rain with your wipers on. Wipers. She broke her windshield. Oh, oh no, dead. But at least she got away from the ex-wife. At least she got away. She's waiting there. Surprise! The ex-wife is back. <laughs> oh my God! No, oh, dip. Like she's that. fucking back around. She doesn't fucking. Oh man, you gotta kill. You gotta shoot it in the head. Go away and leave me alone. Yeah. You try to drive away from me, you'll be the last person so, you ever drive away from. <laughs> that doesn't seem like it's about the husband. I feel like she seemed fine. No, Ben, it's ex about an ex-wife. <laughs> <laughs> it's about an ex-wife and another ex-wife that has a problem with another ex-wife. That guy should announce, he should commentate every school shooting. <laughs> I would really be interested to hear. And wham, blam, thank you, ma'am. That young blonde headed boy just shot the librarian. <laughs> <laughs> Why do they have to do it that way? Uh, they, because they're super excited. They're putting Andrew into it. And many times in VO auditions, you're told to smile while doing it. So that's what he was doing. But man. Why? Chicks just fucking keep on coming, but uh, how do you feel? The one's nice about having an ex-wife and a current wife is that I feel like it's more appropriate for the new wife to give her a fucking pop. That you could send oh. her at the ex-wife, like that it would have been cooler for the new wife to fucking hit her with the car door a couple of times Buddy. than me doing it. I don't think that that woman was going to beat that other woman. I think the ex-wife was much stronger and much more passionate than the other woman who was just trying to go to Arby's. I have no idea what she was doing. I'm just saying, wife, wife on wife crime, I think, is more societally acceptable. Yeah. I mean, she's also have a, she has her life threatened by this maniac. I don't know. I don't know. Either way, no matter what, that husband is in trouble. He's in, he's in trouble by the current wife and by the ex-wife. Because she's going to go home mad. and be like, Why did you, what did you do? Why am I involved in this? He's screwed. Okay, for this next video... Um, so I was looking up. I really wanted to find footage of um, restless leg syndrome, 
I wanted like night vision goggle footage of somebody like kicking and strutting in their sleep, but I couldn't like find. Ric Flair. <laughs> yeah, I couldn't really like. I couldn't yeah. find exactly yeah. what I was, you know, what I was looking for. Just someone just like. <laughs> yeah. Like while sleeping. Yeah. That's what I was looking for. It was like put in in night footage, in night uh, like night vision goggles or something, but I couldn't find that. So, so is this a real thing? Is is restless shit? leg syndrome is real? Is it real? Yeah, okay. it's real. Yeah. Okay. The girl I lost my virginity to, who was a juggalette. Was uh, had restless leg syndrome. You, know, I actually you, thought, you willfully gave I, it I, to her. Yeah. <laughs> See, what's interesting is I always thought the female juggalo was a juggala, and a juggalette is a juggalette. small one. No, yeah. <laughs> uh oh, no, a, a small one's a juggalino. Right, right. So I'm, 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 I'm looking through YouTube for restless leg syndrome, and I, YouTube sucks now because it's like it, it, it. It like weights all of the most popular videos at the front, and it makes you dig all the way to the back for like the no view ones. So I'm like, I yeah. scrolled all the way back of, of YouTube for restless leg syndrome, and I came across I came across this guy who had a bunch of like sleep journal diaries, and um, he's like a goth guy, but all of his journals are like he's like really earnestly talking about his like sleep disorder stuff. So he did one, and it's just him sitting in his room talking about his sleep disorder, and then three years later he does the second video. And uh, it's quite a bit different, and he's definitely upped his game, and he's he's trying to mix a lot of styles and like help a lot of people with sleep disorder. So right. I really I really like this guy, and I, I I think we should all give some more attention to him trying to help people sleep disorder and just sort of uh, take in what he's trying to give us uh, aesthetically. I'll uh, learn. I'll fucking yeah. absolutely. Let's boost that signal. So let's learn let's about sleep, sleep disorders. I hope it can help some people. I hope we can help. We can fix it. <sighs> okay. Whoa. So I just wanted to do a quick. Follow up video. Wait a second, video is he I from made. fucking like Elder Scrolls? Uh, about three years ago. He kind of looks like <laughs> Alice Kerbalat. So, okay. Oh, mama! Yeah. yeah. Whoa! How am I supposed to? That's his music this? too, man. No, I guess. Composed by. Next one. Cool. Yeah. Sleep disorder. <laughs> <laughs> this is fucking metal, dude. Sleep disorder itself is probably. I don't know, it might have improved slightly. I don't know. Okay. Oh, oh that's it? Sleeping <laughs> tablets at night to help me get to sleep and coding yeah. um, to actually help with the restless leg syndrome and the. Uh, is he a vampire? Um, is he like straight coding? <laughs> I think in general, I've just gotten used to the fact that. I am always this tired. And <laughs> Welcome to it. Welcome to a fucking life, life, bro. Oh shit, dude. I don't think he's supposed to be taking codeine for restless oh, leg syndrome. That, that seems like a. That seems like fucking using a hammer to uh, to kill a fly. <laughs> it's a bit of overkill. <laughs> oh, look at that fucking crow. Generally with codeine, I don't have any of the Nadia, I love, I adverse love effects man. of restless yes, leg syndrome. We all love in fact, I've not really felt any effects of it for, for the past six months <laughs> to a year. Um, he does look tired. I still have trouble getting to sleep initially, which is why I have sleeping tablets as well. But yeah. Jesus, you're gonna fucking the medication only seems to be doing the job. I mean, it's not a cure. But it's helping me manage the symptoms anyway, so... Why are we... What is happening here? Yeah. I, I, I'm not understanding the scene. <laughs> you know who else has restless leg syndrome? The walking dead! What? <laughs> Small <laughs> serum, That's basically yeah. where I am with my sleep disorder at the moment. I and, wish it the best! Uh, yeah, I guess you'll, you'll see me all in the next video. Alright. <sighs> I cross the bridge from the end to the other end. <laughs> so that's um, Lee Allen is his name. So right. go show him some love. He, ha I, he hasn't gotten any views, really. Um, but I just thought that was so worthy of attention. I don't know how it helps if you do have sleep paralysis. I'm not sure what advice he gave other than very dangerous advice, such as yeah. codeine and sleeping pills. Um, that's all he seemed but... to be doing is just giving people codeine. <laughs> but am I am I mistaken by understanding like it seems like he slept well once he fell asleep? I think the reason why he looks so tired is because of the eye makeup. Yes. That makes you look tired. Of course it does. Yeah. I feel like he I think he sleeps twelve hours a day, but he's so not tired, he's like, it's hard to fall asleep sometimes. It's cause all you do is sleep. 
Yeah. I mean, also, it just sounds like he's fucking, he's got a rack. Because <laughs> <laughs> every time he's trying to sleep, he, he wakes up, he's like, I got a rack. Oh. <laughs> 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 One thing I did find interesting about that man, that man is 21 years old. No. Yes. No, he's not. Yes. He's no, finishing. He might say he's he is 21. finishing college. He's, yeah, dude. He's 20. He very well could be I, that is, that's what I don't know, man. That's what sleep deprivation does. No, that is a and, lie. Because he wants to, he's probably buying the house in Arkansas right now that has the dungeon. That is a lie. <laughs> that man is at least 40. No, I'm no, no, le- legitimately 33. 33. Said, talking about my people, the English, oh. they don't age great. No, they, they, age, they, they, they age very, very fast. Well, yeah, that's why yeah. Prince Prince Harry is aging well because his mom boyed the soccer player. It's not it's not Prince Charles. It's kid. not Prince. Yeah, she got the he got the good genes. Yep. Yeah, the fucking because wow, the the guy that will never be king, he is just turning into fucking Igor. <laughs> what happened to him? His head is ice cream cone shaped. It's he's really the weird. Ugliest, yeah. He's the ugliest man in the world, and he used to be so handsome. I don't know what happened to him. Yeah, not all of them age badly, but the the Brits definitely that there's a that the clock is turned up on. There's them. something about men that go from like because me, I always started like gross looking. So <laughs> whatever it is, like that's how it goes. I don't go anywhere else. I this is it. I rock this level. Well, Going you look from great. like you look great, handsome buddy. prince to gross king. I guess it don't matter anymore. Well, then I guess that's king. that's. That's the question. Would you rather just sort of be average looking like all three of us our entire lives? We're not, I, I would say we're solid LA fours and Midwest tens. Um, or be beautiful and then turn into someone like Prince Charles. I don't, I don't think I would I don't want to experience true beauty like that and then have it taken away from me. The only reason yeah. why we are Midwest tens is because we can funnel beer. Yeah, I'm not saying, <laughs> I'm not giving excuse. Yes. Yeah, Absolutely. one of these Marcus, days, Marcus will brood, and that's very hot in the Midwest. One of these days, guys, I'm gonna put uh, my English genes are gonna turn on. The whole thing's gonna turn on the dime, and I'm gonna become like a true, like you guys talk about me being a goblin man. I'm gonna become a true goblin man. The hair is yeah. gonna go. It's all gonna fall, and I'm just gonna be a weird man with a baby face, but still wrinkles and gigantic, oversized hands and a big yeah, you weird looking loser. I'm gonna look like yeah, Gollum. you fucking Gollum. I'm gonna you look like Gollum. You know what I'm thinking? You won't with look good like Gollum teeth because I got because I got the whole the, the Invisalign thing. Because so you got the shades. Teeth are, yeah, the yeah. teeth are gonna be nice, but but well, you know what you can do, Marcus. What I expect you to do, and I'd like someone if we could possibly throw up a picture of this man so people can see. You got to go full Grant Morrison, shave the head, leather, the no, leather jacket, no, 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 the leather. No, no, no. You remember the Romeo and Juliet, like the no. 1990s version with that leather, like priest's outfit yeah. with the high yeah. collar and that kind of thing? Yeah. And the very, like the glasses with no bands. I love it. He's going to look like he's on parole and no one's going to let him near a park. From future I... prison. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, parole for future prison. I would love to shave my head. That would be great. However, oh. my head is too small yes. for that hairstyle. I have a tiny head. My my entire body is out of proportion. It's like a Frankenstein's body. Nope. That's put together Bulk by up. a bunch of different. Get back into lifting weight. No, no, that's, 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 that's my head. My head will look even smaller. Yeah, that's the idea. Bigger. <laughs> that's insane. Make you know the body think, bigger. You know who has that kind small. of body? You know who everyone thinks is hot, but I don't think so. Shannon Tatum. His head is too small. He's too strong. I think he's. I small. think he does. Yeah. You know what? I finally. Yeah. He's not that handsome. Yeah. No. Take him down, Ben. I did. You called him <laughs> Shannon. You called him Shannon Tatum. Tatum? Well, yeah. He called him Shannon Tatum. What I What's will his say, name? <laughs> Shannon, Shannon Tatum. It doesn't Shannon, matter I don't what his name know is. what these Hollywood names are. But I would fucking love to see you beat the living shit out of Shannon Tatum. That because he's so like much one fun. foot tall. Yeah, they're, they're all so small. Okay, speaking of little people that uh, have great names, let's move on to this new, this next news clip here and uh, meet some people in this little, uh, little gang. Let's I did see look into horrors Travis has to bring <laughs> us on this one. I did look into the <laughs> UFC gym recently. Fuck the wrist. Mark his loyalty. What does that say? Hey, get this one right here. por vida. He is only 12 years old. Midgets. 13-year-old brother Woody is also in the gang. He looks quite older. This is so scary. Oh, no, you got to go to school. 10-year-old little Chucky. Oh, no. Little Chucky. 
here in the garage where they sleep. Show us some handguns. Midget, whose real name is Daniel. No, that's gonna. Oh, oh, you don't want to. Oh my God! That's the plaxico. Plan. He's gonna do the plaxico. Uh, <laughs> my father, like I have a spider father, says going on right now. Shot him up twice. And do these guys have albums on SoundCloud? His chest and lower stomach. The first time doctors had oh. to remove a kidney. The second time. What is spleen. this? Jesus Christ, hey, Travis! Why are you showing this? <laughs> <laughs> What is this? That's just horrifying. That's just very sad. We, and have, a, that we was, have a youth problem. And in our that country. was your check your privilege segment. So check this your privilege. Why I, I, oh, this I, isn't the time they, for that. They yes, need a father figure. Your, they, need, uh, they need to. They need to. They need uh, let's move on to. <laughs> uh, I am. I. But I will say this. I am going to join the UFC gym. That's how I'm going to get in shape. Just get oh. ready. Get ready. Uh, what, you going to hold up the signs? <laughs> oh, you, oh, oh, you are correct. Let's meet. Let's meet a. Uh, let's meet an airplane with a mind of its own. Nine eleven. Let's <laughs> meet an airplane with a mind of its own. Siri, are you just gonna show us nine eleven jumping videos now? Whoa, cool. Mari. Oh, oh fuck you. Okay, multiple deaths, multiple deaths. God damn it, Travis, this Jesus is Sonic, everybody's dying. Oh, oh, it's like Jaws, but a plane. Rescue is oh, get out of the way of that plane. <laughs> oh, get away from the plane. Why is that people are running towards the plane? You gotta try to, to be a hero. Grandfather in the black coat throws himself between Mandy and the killer plane. It's not a Bro, it's plane. not a it's killer a plane. plane. It's just a plane. Yeah. <laughs> oh my God. It only oh my God. They're just get plane. away from it. Why, Why are they so close to it? to it? Run away from it. The, ma <laughs> the main takeaway from that video is that you can only stop a plane with another plane because they yeah. only stopped when you used a plane. <laughs> and it just know, flies it? another plane into it from the sky. <laughs> That'll fix it. <laughs> that plane is not the father. That plane is not the father. I don't wow. think that woman lived. I don't think that woman oh. died. I don't think she yes. died. I think they all died because the guy said that was a death blow from the plane. Also responding no, to you saved him from a death blow. Oh, okay. Responding to YouTube here that we are still in the check your privilege segment actually. So that was another. Oh, we are still. Thank that was another check your privilege good, video. Good. I always oh, love YouTube. It? Yeah, the plane privilege. It's like what was that? A fucking Harrison Ford's. Like training camp, he's the one who keeps killing people with the. Plane. I mean, honestly, it was he the, hasn't yet. It, it was the plane's natural habitat. I don't know why humans thought they could sort of descend on it my, and make it their own play place. True story. My uncle died from a mini plane. He landed it in a field. Did not realize there was a railroad track in said field. It hit the plane. So I guess the train won. Okay, let's see Wait another. A <laughs> he Wait flipped a it all over. He died. How have I never heard this story before that yeah. your uncle? That Wait is the second. story. I wasn't close. I don't know my family very well, so I wasn't no, close. So was this in Germany? This is in Farga. Ah, uh, Farga. Farga. No, my, so no, my German relatives were all like F1. Landed F1, a plane F1. on a train track. No, he landed it in a field. He did not realize that there was a plane, uh, that there was a train track. It was covered by shrubbery. Yeah, and, and then it, he, boom. Actually, I have a video of his grandfather next, actually. So let's play that video of Ben's grandfather. This better be about all of his uh, humanitarian work. Two, count them, two accidents on I the see same one day. swastika. Both caught on videotape. First, the 60-year-old man was hit by a Houston light rail train Ooh, as Jesus. he walked across the tracks, ignoring the blaring horn and flashing Travis, lights. how is any of this funny? About what feet. is he listening to then last podcast on the left? The what, ambulance what, what? taking him to the hospital was hit by a car. <laughs> the good news, he only had minor injuries and should be all right. We all need to be <laughs> careful. And this is the kind of shit right, that guy, right now. We right now we are running around. We are so scared of the coronavirus, right? We're so scared that this fucking disease is gonna come get you. Meanwhile, you can just walk your fucking ass in front of a fucking trolley and hit get hit by it and then get into a car accident in the ambulance and die from it. He didn't die. He he came out of it with minor injuries. Yeah, minor injuries. So your, <laughs> your rant is totally useless. <laughs> minor injuries, and also like it, it's pretty easy to easy not to not 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 not